Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101 out here with Will from Manus Outdoors. We are going to check out something really cool. This is the Bulldog 357 pre-charged pneumatic air rifle from Crosman Benjamin. This thing's pretty crazy. We're going to do this in two parts. This, is, this video is going to be part one. And this is basically just going to be us feeling the gun out. And then we're also going to do a part two with Steve and the gun guys from Survival Tactics. But giving you my impressions of it right now. Yes, the most popular comment that seems to keep popping up on Facebook is phased plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. Everyone says that. Terminator. So... Yeah, it does look like a Terminator gun or aliens or something like that. It is a big, nasty, crazy air rifle. Shoots a 145 grain ballistic tip, 357 bullet, and they do call it a bullet. We just got it pretty much sighted in, so we're going to see what kind of damage this thing does on fruit. They run, they are not for the budget friendly crowd. Basically this thing runs about $1,000. So this is a loaner, I'm not keeping this one. I'm actually planning on getting the Benjamin Marauder you know, in 25. So, give you an idea here, the size of this bullet that this thing fires. It's loud, but comparatively to a firearm, it's not that loud, but it's got some, got some crack to it. Weight, I don't have the exact weight. I can look that up, but it's pretty comfortable. Didn't come with any kind of optics, so I just picked up a $35 red-green point sight. That's what we're using today. At the ranges that we're shooting, that's fine. Magazine holds about uh, five rounds, I believe. Cox back here. Here's your pressure valve. This, a lot of people are going to ask, because I see it all the time whenever this subject comes up, why would you get spend all that money on an air rifle when you can get a real gun, blah, blah, blah. Well, this is a real gun. It's just a different type. Could be a lot of different reasons why you would want something like this. Uh, I'm not going to get into all that, but if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. Air rifle technology has jumped forward in leaps and bounds recently. I saw 50 cal air rifles when I was out at SHOT Show in, in uh, January, so they're pretty crazy. This one is definitely a fun one. So, like I said today, all we're really doing is feeling this thing out, shooting some fruit, getting it sighted in and then we're also going to do a part two coming up so let's get the camera off the tripod see what this thing does first up is cantaloupe to the right. Let's take a look, see what that did. Yikes. <laughs> Definitely not your boy's red rider. You shoot your eye out. Alright, it's not dead yet. Three, two. So this is the magazine. Just rotate that. 
two, three, four, five. Green means it's full, so we got five shots. I'm gonna try this one without bracing it. Oh man. Here's the front. Or is that the, that's the back? There's the front, that's the back. Let's see if we can cut this thing in half. We had something to catch the round. There's the ballistic tip as it expanded right there. Ah, it smells good. I have to chew on this. All right, let's break out the watermelon. I saw it bleeding out. Is that exit hole? Ooh. Nice little exit hole. So you can hit it on the other side, just blow this thing to smithereens. It's like it's following the same channel once it gets in here. Well, went right there. I mean, if that was the critical area on a on a white tail or something like that, I'm sure without a shadow of a doubt, it would take it down. It's like it's full of water. <laughs> oh wait, it's a, a melon that's full of water. A dead watermelon. Yeah, it, it had enough. Yeah. All right, so now basically what we're gonna do is, you know, we don't have any like ballistic gel or anything like that, but we do have a phone book. So what we wanna do is kind of a rudimentary uh, impact test see if you know it goes all the way through if it stops at page blah 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 whatever and see if we can retrieve the slug itself so let's go try this Hit the brick all the way through, huh? All the way through. Open that up. Yeah, it just disintegrated against the brick. It's not going to be in here. That's impressive. I was kind of thinking that we were going to get fragments in here. There's nothing. Nice, man. That's definitely impressive to me. All right, guys, so to fill this back up with air pressure, it's really easy. All you gotta do is 
put the female end it's just a uh, a quick release on the male end and then slowly crack the valve and this valve and this valve is going to keep track of the pressure that's going into the gun this valve does not keep track of the pressure that's in the tank so just be, be aware of that so you can either watch one or the other so once I open the valve this needle on the gun and the tank automatically started to rise I'm going to take it no higher than 3,000 pounds right about there and cut it now here's the really important part you can't this is now locked if you can get a shot down there this quick release is now locked on there because on 3,000 pounds of pressure you have to take this release valve right here and crack it and get that pressure off then tighten that back up and now you can release the quick connect and it's just that easy guys mm. like that and you got one of these uh tanks i mean you're good to go with this thing for a while yeah you can have a lot of fun with it okay so feeling this thing out for the first time this thing is a nail driver once we got it sighted in it was pretty much uh kept on target at this distance which isn't much what maybe 15 yards just kind of playing around i mean we're not even talking about we're going to do some range stuff with this in the next video when we're actually at a range but we just wanted to see how it felt shooting see the kind of impact that it does it's consistent i mean yeah it looks big it looks crazy it looks like a sci-fi gun but i mean even with without a scope and just using a point sight we're pretty much able to hit what we're aiming at every time it definitely feels and sounds like it's got some power but there's no recoil to it so all these things are stuff like i said it really depends on what you want to do with it if you want to hunt with something like an air rifle this is definitely the way to go and of course having this um, continuous rail on the top rail down here on the bottom I and mean, you could mount a bipod down here you could do all sorts of different things with this filling it is really easy uh, we'll, we'll top this off here in a sec just to kind of show you how easy it is but uh, even at this range even letting it get go down I mean we're getting more than 10 shots at this range now, if you're trying to get the long shot uh, according to Chip, he said probably 10 shots max before you have to start lobbing it in. And like he said at SHOT Show, well, I'll just let him say it. And it's generating about 200 foot-pounds. So we're talking about white-tailed deer, big hogs. We're shooting um, coyotes out at 75 yards. And it just came back from Safari in South Africa where it killed a 240 pound oryx at 72 yards. So, I'm a spec wise, I should have been putting all that stuff in the video by this point. But check them out on the website, link is in the description box below. I'm really interested in trying some of their other stuff. Like I said, I do plan on purchasing for myself a uh, 25 cal marauder which those are supposed to have 30 good shots per fill and it is like super quiet uh, like mouse fart quiet so <laughs> very impressive very impressive what air gun technology has come to so will wants to give his two cents here so we'll swap out you know this this is pretty funny i mean it's it definitely has its uses there is you know things that you can do with it. It has a purpose. You know, I can already tell people what people are going to say. You know, why, 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 huh? and why, why not? I mean, if you have the money and you want to get something like this for the woods, eh, you know, if you want to take this hunting, maybe uh, it is legal to hunt with this. It is a 357. Uh, you'd have to check your state laws. I know in my state, Ohio, this is actually legal to hunt with. So it's um, a quieter hunting implement. You know, it's not as loud as say like a 357 rifle, like maybe a Henry or something like that that uh, I've hunted with before. You know, it's just, if you want it, it's one of those things, you know.
there's really not much I can say about it. I'm impressed with it. I had fun with it all day long today. So, you know, this is kind of a, one of those niche items that if you have the money and you uh, interest you, go ahead and pick it up. It's fun. And then on the next video, we'll get the take from the uh, PM101 gun guys. Let them shoot it and see what their thoughts are. You know, it's like Chris said, with these Picatinnies, it's got tons of options that could be uh, implemented, you know, lights and things like that. Could be a good um, pest gun, varmint gun if you live on a farm or something like that. Got groundhogs tearing up your property, whatever, you know. This could, this could serve somebody a good purpose. Uh, you shoot a groundhog with that thing, you're going to be cleaning it up with a sponge. It ain't going to be digging your house. <laughs> it ain't going to be digging your farm up anymore. No, it sure. definitely will not be doing that. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you know, I'm just trying to sit here and think of why somebody would buy it. You know, the use of somebody who's going to buy it. Because I know that's going to come up in the video, you know, in the comments. Why? Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people will say, well, it's, you know, $999, that's ridiculous. Uh, if you know anybody that plays paintball on the regular, that is... Yeah, that, that's that's common. An angel's like twelve hundred bucks. I mean, I I had thousand dollar paintball guns. If you don't, then you're just asking to get murdered on the field, <laughs> because yeah. you got guys out there with tricked out auto cockers and computerized craziness that's just killing you. So when you put it in that perspective, and that this is something that could actually put food on your table, hey. It could. Like I said, I mean, I'm one hundred percent sure that this could absolutely take down a whitetail. There's no doubt in my mind. It it will. Well, I mean, if, if it can kill a 275-pound oryx in Africa at 75 yards, yeah. it's going to take mean, down a whitetail easy. Yeah, everything in the eastern woodlands, outside of a bear probably, like a black bear, I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. But, yeah, I'm sure it would take down a deer. Absolutely, no problem. So, there you go. Now you're picking up my lingo. You got me saying very, very, now I got you saying there you go. <laughs>know if I could find that I saw that thing hit a tree way the hell back there so I gotta go see if I can find this flashlight and if that thing works after that I'm gonna be really impressed even know how to explain what my own eyes just saw.
couple times I hit the brick and just knocked it off. That was a direct hit. And it hit it with such force that I saw the flashlight fly through the air about 20 yards that way, hit a tree, bounce off of it, and fall to the ground. It's not going to do that if I just knocked it over by just missing it. So, I just took the camera out there to pick it up. Let's take a look at this thing. I hear some rattling. But, <laughs> there's not a, there's barely, there's not a mark on it. I do not understand. Something ain't right inside. This thing definitely took a hit. But I'm just shocked that there's no big giant ding or there's no big marks or, I mean, there's re really no indication that this thing was hit. Doesn't sound like it's going to work. If it does, I will be absolutely freaking shocked because this thing just got drilled with a 357 hollow point going at probably at that pressure about 700 feet per second. So I'll put this in the car, save it till I get home, slap a battery in it. It ain't going to turn on. But this, uh, this anodizing sure took a hit. So let's wait and see.